As a gay man, it took me time to slowly come to terms with, with my sexuality. And I often think I read myself out of the closet. I could explore that part of myself in books. I went to college during the birth of the gay and lesbian freedom movement. I was marching in the streets and going to consciousness raising meetings and starting a small magazine um, and being a feminist activist and then a lesbian feminist activist. And that was a gateway to literature, to honoring your own, to become who I eventually became, which was somebody who could defend myself and other people. It is, it's almost impossible for young gay people today to understand what it was like back then. The view largely shared by the psychiatric profession was that homosexuality was a pathological condition. And so when you grow up with that kind of self-image, it makes for complications, to put it mildly. Well, we've definitely come a long way. In my 20s, I would never have imagined that LGBT rights would be on the national agenda. I mean, at the time, it was legal to be a lesbian in every state in the Union. My novels can take a young heterosexual woman into the mind of a middle-aged gay Latino man. I mean, I think that's wonderful. Books enrich us. They help make us more human, and they help diminish the fear that we might have of each other. The thing about In Such Dark Places, the main character is gay. And this was in 1973. At that time, gay was a very taboo subject, pretty much. I knew that if I wrote this novel and wrote it the way it had to be written, which I did, in a way it was a coming out novel, and I had to make that decision. And I said, yeah, I'm going to write what I want to write. Pym addresses homosexual characters with enormous uh, delicacy, regarding them as entirely like everybody else at a time when homosexuality was still actually illegal in the United Kingdom. I think we've progressed quite a bit. Everybody knows what, what gay means. I think there's other things that gay people can strive toward, make it a part of life, which we're doing. The people are gay, and so what? I was trying to show my gay characters in the whole context of their life, not just as a function of their sexuality. These are people just like every other person, you know, that we all have a lot more in common than not. <laughs>